Hello. So, um, what I'm probably going to do is do some videos. I think numerous times, possibly, on a Monday, I may well do a video, uh, just because I end up building no mates in here in my new job. I won't say where it is, because just anonymity and all the rest of it. Um, you know, wiggle room and, and so forth. Um, but I think... The overall theme will be more of like a video diary, but if anything, it might be to do with like just to track how things have gone, just like uh, health and uh, mindset and all the rest of it. Um, I think that's pr pretty much going to be the plan. Um, whether the quality is going to be any decent or it's going to be just a case that I'll have a video or two put up and it'll be more like I can go, oh yeah, three weeks back I was going through this or whatever or. Um, my weight was X at this time, do you know what I mean? And what kind of stuff I've done, and then I can reanalyze it, I suppose, and see if I need to make any improvements. It's probably a good idea. Um, and if anyone watches them, then they'll watch them. We'll see how that goes, and ooh, yeah, pretty much. So, um, where am I at? So the date, as I'm recording this right now, um, is the 11th of April. And about a month ago, roughly speaking, I think it was the 15th of last month, excuse me, I started boxing. So, um, never never done any boxing in my life. Did a bit of running. Um, that was alright. Um, but the boxing's pretty cool in that I'll probably not stop banging on about it all the time. Um, I'm doing it currently like two times a week now, so... It means that um, I get some cardio in, and I now know how to punch people, which I didn't used to be able to do. <laughs> and I do, if, I do think that my um, punch is getting better, um, and I think my combos are getting definitely getting better. My speed is better. Um, my ability to um, f spar for longer without taking like a break and a breath. I don't normally take a break, but sometimes I have to slow down and, and just breathe for a bit. But I suppose that's normal. If you're doing it for half an hour, it's going to pagger you out in it, really. Um, so, from my perspective, I think that month, the month I've been doing it, I've done pretty well, to be honest. I haven't changed my diet massively. Um, I did about a month ago, roughly speaking. This could be part of the contribution to changes. Um, I started eating more protein as in um, I'd either pre-cook some like a chicken curry or chicken casserole something like that, put some chicken in me um, and I've been eating about 6 eggs for breakfast, this morning I had ooh, I had 6 scrambled eggs, 6 eggs scrambled with cheese, numerous spices which I always put in and I also because um, I'd been to KFC the day before and had shit tons of leftovers don't know if I'm going to be swearing in future videos, who knows. Um, I had loads left over, so I had a mini fillet sandwich for breakfast, for dinner today at work, and beforehand I just like put loads of um, chicken that I just like kind of chopped up and shredded and took off the bone, so I didn't waste it, but I also took the skin off, and I don't normally do that because I just love the skin. It's just really tasty. But overall, what I was going to say is, let me just consult my ever trusty uh, Samsung Health, uh, not an advert. So my body composition at the minute is 188 pounds, but that's because I've just been proper chucking food in my mouth. Um, but the lowest I've been uh, recently was 150, 185 pounds. I'll maybe see about converting that into stone, but pounds in this instance. 185 is my lowest, so 188 I'm not really worried or stressing about, but on the 15th of, let's see, was it the 15th? 14th, 15th of last month, I was £196, so I've lost, like, overall, about £10. So not like a stone or anything, but in a month, um, I've lost a bit of weight. And seeming to have a little bit more definition in and around the stomach area. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, still go to the gym, go to gym Monday, box Tuesday, gym Wednesday, box Thursday, gym Friday, so five days of training, and then two days off basically, 
unless I ever fancy a run or a walk and I try and walk if I can I aim for about 10,000 steps if not 20 most days, doesn't always work but yeah I suppose <clears throat> that's where I'm at the minute, 188 pounds was 185 and if I'm honest, if I just behave myself because I did it, eat like a bit of a piggy the other day but you've got to balance life with, with the good and the bad and you can't just always be super strict all of the time you have to allow a little bit of treat here and there and I think yeah, I think health wise I'm doing alright and I'm looking forward to actually increasing my strength, my speed and my ability to spar. I do ooh, one thing I need to do is so I've noticed when I'm sparring against someone harder by harder I don't mean it's nothing sexual about it. Ooh, yeah, innuendos and everything coming out of my mouth, yes I know. Um but um I tend to learn something from it. So I am going to aim to fight people who I think are hard and better and stronger than me because I might get battered and it often ends up with like bruises and friction bands and stuff on me, my forearms to be fair. Um, but I've noticed generally speaking I tend to have learned something like I need to block more, I'm leaving my core open. So far as to say that, there's a, there's a, I, can't, I don't know his name, there's a big lad, by big lad I mean he's a bit rounder, he's a decent lad though. Um, but every time I end up going there, he always like he like, he's like you're leaving your your body up, and I'm able to get some shots in and stuff. And the last time I was sparred against him, I was looking back and I was, I was walking up against this wall, and he was like, I was like, I'm watching out for this wall, and he's like, I'm pushing you back, so you have to fight through me. So I had to push him, and he's like a good couple of like about a foot and a half. Are bigger than I am and tall wise as well so it was quite good knowing that I basically punched through him and the last time I went I sparred against a new guy who'd just started there so it was kind of nice being able to teach him how to throw a punch as well so they say that you learn more as you learn as you teach basically so moral of the story I think I'm gonna end the video here the little, 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 little. Um, oh yeah, there's a bit of an overshare as well. I actually met Frank Bruno the other Saturday, the other, other Saturday, so that was kind of cool, went to a charity event. So, um, that was a life event, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so moral of the story here, I suppose we, we're, we're doing all right weight-wise. I look quite pretty, to be fair. I'm not overly worried. I've got more, I haven't got an ugly face. Um, so as long as I don't get thinking, oh my skin's a bit blotchy. Being out in the sun and being bitten by flies, I think, didn't help yesterday. Uh, but in principle, overall, I'm not a bad-looking fella, and I'm getting better physically, emotionally, and all the rest of it. Cool. Um, I think I'll end the video there. Maybe I'll do another one Monday. This might be a couple of weeks or a month or two before I do another video. Previous video, I should have said, if it's still up. It might not be, it was just about um, my daughter <laughs> telling me that she didn't want to see me. I misinterpreted that heavily. And that was more to do with the fact that she just didn't want to see me on the days that I'd suggested. But I took it as she didn't want to see me. And, you know, I went through some darkness. And, and I suppose to an extent, I kind of saw that but I, I identify myself part of my identity is made up of I am a dad to be fair I'm a father and it's my life centers around this and then if that changes then who am I do you know it um, I suppose made me question my life in general and uh, I'm not ashamed to say that I was a little bit sad about the whole thing but what I will say is this um, yeah I think it's it's been pretty all right to be fair. Um, I'm just chewing, so I'm not just doing some weird math. Yes, I was getting to a point. Sometimes things in life can seem bad, and if you maybe give it a little bit of time, a little bit of objectivity and um, hindsight is a wonderful thing. And I think that's a good message to leave on. Yeah, cool beans. <laughs>